my name is Lily. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own rose oil using grapeseed oil, almond oil, vitamin E, and rosemary essential oil. I do have here my dried rose petals, and I also have some fresh rose petals that I'm going to use. Now, this is super easy and affordable to make, so please stay tuned. There are different ways to make rose oil, but the way that I'm showing you today is for those who are in a rush, those who do not want to sit there and wait weeks to actually infuse um, the rose into the oil. So this is the quick way to make it. Now, rose oil has many benefits for your skin, your hair, your nails, you name it. It's the perfect oil. Great for those dealing with anxiety, depression, it reduces stress. It is very good at treating acne due to its antiseptic, astringent, and anti-inflammatory properties. It also helps diminish scars on your skin. It helps combat dry, aging skin. It is an overall great skin moisturizer. Now, its antioxidants help um, actually absorb into the skin, and that's what helps in aging skin. You may also use it on your nails to promote growth. You can use it on your eyebrows, your eyelashes, your hair. It's pretty much perfect for anything. Now, you can apply the oil directly to your skin. Um, you can add it to any lotion, any cleansers, um, shower gels, anything, you name it, it's amazing. I do have a fun fact for you. Rose oil is actually considered to be an aphrodisiac, which helps to arouse sexual desires. So, that's good to know. Alrighty, so let's get started into making our oil. So here we have our fresh rose petals. The first thing I'm going to do is wash them and just lay them out and I will be back. Here we have the fresh rose petals. I just rinsed them with water, just water. So what I'm going to do to allow them to dry just a bit, I'm going to place them on a paper towel um, on a plate. So just lay them out. So we'll just go ahead and cover that with another paper towel and just press down so we can just uh, dry them up. Now we don't want this to be completely dry because as you know, oil and water do not mix. So do make sure that your petals are completely dry before you do anything else. So what we're gonna do next is place them in a Ziploc bag. This is a glass mason jar which you can get at any one of your craft stores. I got this one from Michaels for only $2. So this is a great buy. So I'm just making sure to get this um, everything in here. Make sure that everything is in the jar. So all of our roses are filled into this glass mason jar, perfectly fitted in here. Alrighty, so once we do have this ready, let's go ahead and apply our oils. I'm going to be starting with almond oil. This here is almond oil. Right here, this is grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil has many benefits, especially for your skin. It's amazing. This is how you want your jar to look by this point. Uh, we want to make sure that this is filled to the very top and that you have added all of the oils to the very top and also the petals. So what I'm going to do is actually just place this in some hot water, some boiling water, and leave this on there for about maybe 30 minutes to an hour. So now that the water is cool, we remove the jar from the water. Uh, we set the water outside and we actually leave this, leave this for 24 hours. Yes, 
you do have to be patient however it is going to take 24 hours for this to actually be ready so we'll be back in 24 hours to show you the rest of the process finally welcome back well it's been like a second for you but it's been 24 hours for me the agony like I hate waiting I really don't have much patience um, so here we go the oil is ready to be extracted we are going to need a glass bowl in which we can pour the oil into before we get it into our actual container um, so first things first I do have to show you what you'll need to do so now what we have here is a strainer um, we also have a cheesecloth now I got the cheesecloth from Walmart you can get it from any store I'm about 75% sure that I got this from Walmart but don't take my word for that so let's go ahead and get started. I forgot to mention this before. Once you do pick an oil, the best one to use, of course, is grapeseed oil or almond oil, or you can use any carrier oil of your choice. Do not use vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is not made for your skin, okay? It's going to clog your pores. It's just not a good choice. Now, due to the fact that we used uh, fresh rose petals, this is not going to last very long. Please be advised that this can last anywhere between two to six weeks. And also, you may be able to preserve it a little bit longer if you appreciate it. So please do keep that in mind. If you do want this to last longer for you for about a year or so, make sure to only use dried rose petals as opposed to fresh. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you have any questions, or if you have any concerns, please make sure to leave a comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.